Hi friends, in this video we are going to see two ways to practice for JLPT while you can choose the best that suits you. Welcome to Nihongo Max, my name is Ravi, let's start. Way number one, rote learning. The most conventional way is rote learning, which is that's why not much recommended by me. Even I say it as rotten learning. It means you'll first learn kanji, then vocabulary, then learn particles, then learn na adjective, e adjective, verbs, plain form of verb, negative, past negative, conjugative form, active form, passive form, causative form, adverbs, onyomi, kunyomi, then grammar, grammar number 45, grammar number 69, grammar number 124, blah 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 blah. Then join course for Kaiwa, again spend money and get nothing, but only just the feeling of speaking Japanese. Put yourself in a vicious circle of rote learning and get nothing that makes you capable enough for a job. Again start with some other institute with same method and put more money. Either you leave Japanese language saying that it is a very difficult language without, it, without even trying to understand how some people got successful in it or get a job where you almost know nothing and since your learning ways was road learning you are still not able to manage your job that requires quick learning techniques while, while working get demotivated by regular intrusions from bosses and Japanese clients it doesn't really matter how you keep doing the same job or you take a break from your job for advanced learning Japanese and again put yourself in the same circle that goes like a loop for around 10-15 years and finally you come out with a conclusion that life is indeed a struggle from the conclusion you made about Japanese get married have kids have car loan have home loan travel to Japan make your target to let your family see Japan or even the whole world but this unwanted struggle feeling that this rote learning method has given you can make you feel struggle every time without listening to your own heart so this way is not at all recommended by me. So why did I mention this way in this video? Well, because it is more important to know what not to do than what to do. Because if you start learning Japanese language for a job or for JLPT, more often you will come across almost every your fellow classmate and even the teachers with the same mindset of road learning. They will say, look, I took so many years to teach and to reach till advanced level. How can you succeed faster than me? they will demotivate you and many Japanese language classrooms going in India won't agree with me with this because uh, they themselves don't understand it and uh, moreover they think that the best way to earn money is not to tell the truth but to tell what a beginner wants to listen I'm sure that I'm going to get many hate comments after this video by these kind of classrooms well it won't be true I, if I say I don't care I tried it many times but it still hurts anyways way number two multiple perspectives this way is the best and I always recommend it to my students to go with it now what does it mean and how can we change or establish this practice in Japanese language study see because of the style of Japanese language and the nature of learning it we have to change rote learning to this real method of study let us understand this by an example many of you guys must have uh, heard about a grammar pattern gachi and have learned its meaning as tendency, trend or uh, often occurring. Those who don't understand this pattern or, uh, or even what is a pattern, let me explain you. In Japanese language, there are styles in which a, a vocabulary is used uh, that simply called pattern. Well, the definition of grammar pattern may be different, but uh, again, to make it simpler and really usable for this time, let us, uh, for the time being, let us understand it uh, like we, we have it in English language. Now this pattern gachi, if we try to memorize it by rote learning method, that is uh, first joining it to verb by removing mass from the stem and uh, learn the meaning as a trend of or tendency of plus the verb we have used like okre mass becomes okre gachi kangai mass becomes kangai gachi and the meaning becomes trend or tendency of being late and uh, tendency to think but do you feel that only remembering this or only knowing this or maybe a few example of it can make you keep this pattern in your mind forever and you can use it in your spoken language also moreover uh, what about the real meaning and real usage because the real meaning of gachi is unwanted trend and this hidden unwanted remains hidden until the student makes a mistake in JLPT or get failed in interview or or in uh, spoken language really no one tells it or maybe the they, they dem themselves don't know it and only this difference makes you an expert or a struggler forever so what's the solution solution is to study by multiple perspectives if you can learn the tough things like 
english meanings joining and all you should you should also be able to think it like a whole sentence to get the original meaning and the authentic flavor now repeat this sentence like as if you are trying to say this to a person in front of you with the real meaning and real feelings in mind this will not only impart the meaning and usage of that expression in you but also bridge your gap of a non speaker to a speaker this way will lead you to master the expressions vocabulary and the language as a whole and uh, not a mathematics of joining and disjoining of words gradually and automatically a learner becomes habitual of deeper accurate and fast learning now this is the time you will transform yourself from a struggler to an expert forever for more understanding look out for our videos about japanese language learning thank you so much